Hey guys,、uh, today is,、uh, I'm in、uh, Osaka, and the reason why I'm here is、um, I just want to see the Screaming Mad Joe's exhibit. <laughs> What's up? He is a special effect makeup artist, film director, and performer musician. He was born in Osaka. He became famous in Hollywood for his unique, gory special effect makeup of the 80s and 90s. He worked on the many Hollywood movies. Exhibition. <laughs> okay. okay, that's nice.、Here. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, uh, my thing.、Uh, ret retro <laughs> retrospective、um, <laughs> art show. Welcome to the Screaming Mad George's art show. And、uh, starting with my high school like、uh, sketches、uh -huh. and some illustrations when I was in high school. And he made a lot of、uh, posters, which is、uh, not really professional things. It's only a、uh, uh, school project. When I saw Dali's painting was、uh, junior high. Junior high, okay.、Mm -hmm. So from there, so my, my focus was not really a cartooning, which is I was still doing it. Yeah, these are my cartooning、okay. um, things. But、uh, um, even though. Not normal cartoon, and also you can tell here is the Dali paintings behind here. Okay. <laughs> Where? <laughs> This is the one that's very much like a you know Daliistic. And right after this one, I came with this one, right? And、uh, I already have a perspective differences. Like you know, it's normal, not normal flat perspective. I, I use the two point perspective. <laughs> Basically, like a, it、yeah. looks like a like a fish eye. Right, 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 right. You can see the in the really deep depth. depth yeah. In the one picture and、right. one drawing. Right. So, right. Okay, that's、uh -huh. cool. <laughs> and、uh, so this is when I went to New York,、mm -hmm. and、uh, my my works at the you know, school of visual arts. How long did you? It's almost about three months. Three months to, to finish that one. Paint. Yes. paint. Okay.、Mm -hmm. And then the second year, I started painting this one. <laughs> Even more, you know, larger. And from here, I was using more lighter、uh, pastel,、mm, pastel color. Color. And、uh, this one is called、uh, Battle of a Hunthead. Oh, okay. An、entire thing, like you know, horse and、uh, warriors and a pole. Anybody, everybody is that、uh, you know, handhead. So the pole.、Oh, you can see that, yeah. Yeah. Fist <laughs> of the mountain. Yeah. So, and from there, I want to do something a more ironic situation. This is like you know, the guy. It's a very ironic things that you are drowning over,、uh, uh, you know, no water situation down、mm -hmm. here. So <laughs> that's something that I wanted to,、uh, okay. you know,、uh, approach. Let me explain about、uh, this picture. And、uh, I'm standing here, and if I get closer. To the mirror, and this mirror is showing the this picture for left eyes, and then that right side mirror and showing to the this picture and for the right eyes, and then 
this right side picture left side picture is a slightly different picture and then draw I mean drawing and then so now if you're using this mirror and the closer you can see that picture three-dimensional so now I'm using the iPhone that's why you can see just one drawing but if you're using this mirror by your eye it's gonna be the three-dimensional drawing This work, um, you really have to see from behind of the canvas. This looks slightly three-dimensional, uh, painting with some kind of depth on it, but this is how I uh, painted the camera. So this was constructed uh, with like, four, uh, four surfaces, with the uh, two stand-ups, like, um, and these are the, uh, all done in an anamorphic way. Distortion, uh, there's certain specific distortion in it, and like I put so when you see from the hall to the mirror, then everything, all the distortion come together into like one perspective, and because of doing that, uh, this becomes more three dimensional. I wanted to make it to the movie, and this is when I wanted to do special makeup effects, okay. and but there is no school or anything. So uh, it's all my self-taught. Also the baby and see you can see my it's like really, really <laughs> it's not like a terrible. not, not like professional a, style. Uh, yeah. But, but you did did yeah. it everything by yourself. Everything myself. And study, learning and uh, training by yourself. Right. Like when I saw Cinefax, um, mm -hmm. um, Dick Smith's mm -hmm. uh, you know muscle and the vein you know, from out of the states. Okay. So I had to make myself, okay. you know, with like a full body and costume. Screaming Mad George version. Yeah, version of. Of and the Big Smith. And yeah, yeah. So, and this one too, again, is a, a hot milk vinyl. And the mechanism in it. So I was doing a, you know, the mm. push pull type of things so with like, you know, blinking eyes. Okay. Talking and stuff. You can tell. Right now, over in. What's this for? This is the movie. for the movie. Okay. Yeah. Once I finished that movie, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a friend named Shinji Nakako, mm -hmm. and uh, he he was a, a journalist that is doing SFX. Mm -hmm. And he, he is like a friend of Rick Baker, Robotin, and everybody. Mm -hmm. So I, I had contact with him, okay. I sent my video to him. That became a turning point for you to be the special effect makeup artist in Hollywood. Yes, okay. exactly. That's, that's and, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so my, uh, at the Rick Baker's shop, you know, I had to go there, talk to him, uh -huh. and uh, I asked him so I can work for free. You can see the young screaming Matt Joe no, here. Oh, this is a little bit later. <laughs> young yeah. screaming Matt is this one. This is <laughs> and now is... Now he got the... Um, <laughs> right here. Okay. Back to New York. Mm -hmm. And then like a uh, few months, I came back to... Came back to LA, Hollywood, LA. LA. And then like when I got there, uh, Rick said, oh, you're sorry. I'm not working this year. Oh, <laughs> that <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> what am I gonna do? I moved in, you know. And then now, uh, uh, but yeah, Rick Reco said he, recommend he to the uh, Greg uh, Cocoon. Okay. Um, and uh, you know, he introduced me to Greg. Oh, okay. So I'm not really doing anything. Nothing is creative mm -hmm. that I uh, I was doing on this movie. Yeah, I was helping. Uh, Helping mixing, you know, for every department, and, every you know, department, basically. Sweeping floors, okay. all that, so and buying the things, you know. You did it, uh, everything, like a runner. Runner, yeah. yes, yes, yes. But that's that's really great for me, because I was doing all self-taught, mm -hmm. but doing, you know, every, I can watch everybody. Doing you can study everything from right. the studio. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that's I, I learned so much during this time. Mm -hmm. And one another things, how I learned really better was, I asked Greg, mm -hmm. can I 
make some my my own project. Using using a, oh, okay, using a, the his studio right, right. to create your stuff. Right. Can I, can I make my own stuff mm -hmm. for Halloween? Oh, okay. Okay. I think he thought I was just gonna make some masks or mm -hmm. something, but then. I oh, you, yes. you, made a, you made a huge one at his studio. I must, I don't know, I have to, I have to you make gotta be the wing. Really, you gotta, yeah. yeah. Really big stuff yeah. so everybody can notice who am I. Okay. <laughs> and everybody helped me because I was making this mm -hmm. in a shop mm -hmm. and uh, mechanic, uh, mechanical things because this one had uh, mechanism. Mm -hmm. Blinking eyes and eyeballs, you know, looking left and right. Mouth open, tongue swell up, and stuff like that. And also, the neck can move right and left. By the hand. Yeah. Okay. You Amazing. got a great time yes. so, to yeah. study special effect makeup right. and basically everything. <laughs> Probably so you can see that this lady's head is twisting and rotated. Space goes to the happy thing. Yeah. So this one. Mm -hmm. uh, well, again, we won't be able to see with the cameras to do it. Oh, okay. But anyway, what happened? I'll, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. What it is. I can see female face. Okay. Up to here. Then what happened is you'll see face you became fire sizing to okay. something else. Oh okay. I mean it's a face, face. but it's different. <laughs> yeah, he created the uh, the monster. It's very screaming mad joke. It's uh, like a hand and <laughs> put it in inside. years to make. Four First years? Yes. yes. And it's a lot of a try and error. Uh -huh. you know? and, uh, but now, see you can see this animatronic head just you know, mm -hmm. side by side. I have to wear my helmet. Okay. <laughs> the baby all of a sudden see me and stop. Right? Yeah. And I'm on, uh oh. She follows me. Really? This baby head is following the spring of my joke. Oh, it's not cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, this uh, white box is uh, LED and then connecting uh, this sculpture of the baby head. 
Right. Uh, eerie. How do you how do you say three dimensional sounds? It's it's very diff difficult to explain. Yeah. So to, how the sound is? Yeah, I can hear the sound is uh, everywhere, not one spot. Right. right side and left left side and top or closer and uh, yeah, kind of the weird sounds. It comes right into your ear. Too. Yeah. Yeah. Watch. Now faces are all okay. following you. You just keep moving. For example, see. Yeah, those are babies' faces following us. Yes, and this one too. It's all following. And Joey. See, it follows yeah, everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> And then also this mini. face is a mini <laughs> screaming banjo. <laughs> I'm gonna have an interview with uh, Screaming Matt George. Tell me which art in the in this exhibition do you want people to see it? Okay. Uh, the one is called uh, attack, a counter attack of the giant baby, a uh, giant experimented baby. This is uh, the work with the most um, interactive and uh, most interesting and where you see and also you have a lot of sensor and uh, uh, strange things happening and it's the most entertaining uh, work uh, in my exhibition and I, I really uh, recommend everybody to see what, what do you want me to do uh, do you want to do that and uh, what do you want to be in your future so tell me about that one please okay this is uh, an exhibition held in Osaka and uh, there is the tallest building in Japan so far is <laughs> uh, 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 Abeno Harukas and this this is a uh, university's sky campus uh, reside in uh, 24th floor and this is the place that my exhibition is held in so if you have a chance to uh, be in Japan and Osaka please come in play with us <laughs> It's on, oh, and on right now. <laughs> Please come to the Hulkus 24th floor.